Thank you. Wow, it's really bright up here. Very, very bright. Thank <laughs> wow, wow, not so bright anymore. Now it's bright again. Great. I could be a weather forecaster or something. Anyways, great to be here. Thank you for that introduction. I'm trying to be a healthy guy. That's a challenge, but it's, a, it's an ongoing journey for all of us. I want to say good evening to all of you. Welcome to Holy Heart. A special welcome to those of you who are visiting from outside of the city or outside of the province even. A big thank you to Premier Davis for being here tonight. And I want to thank him for his words about mental health and mental wellness and for being such a great champion for, for not only mental health, but healthcare in general. As a former health minister himself, he understands some of the challenges and opportunities, and I'm so proud to be part of his team, because I can tell you he's a tireless champion for mental health and wellness, and he's made it clear to me that he wants that to be one of my major focuses, and I can assure you that it is. I got some important stuff to talk about up front, though. Any Habs fans here? Okay, good. That, that was not a lot, but there's some, so that's good. Uh, big game tonight. Now, the, the Premier and I agree on a lot of things. We don't agree on hockey. He's not a Habs fan. I think, uh, I think he cheers for a team that hasn't won a cup since before I was born. Um, they're in Toronto somewhere. Any, any leaf? Maybe. I, I think that's who he cheers for, so... Anyway, before I go on, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that we have Ms. Louise Bradley here. She was sitting next to me in the front row. She's joining us from the Mental Health Commission of Canada. A key focus for her organization is on changing behaviors and attitudes of Canadians around mental health issues and reducing stigma, which of course is a big part of why we're here tonight. I think we can all agree that mental health is one of the most important factors to our overall state of well-being. As the Premier stated, Mental health is a priority commitment for our government, and it's definitely a key issue for me as Minister of Health and Community Services. So I'm really glad to be here this evening on behalf of my department. I know as youth, it can be easy to sometimes think that governments and people who make the big decisions are not really in touch with what's happening at your level, in your classroom, in your home, in your community, on Facebook, or wherever. Well, I'm glad we're all here for this event tonight. Yes, it's an opportunity to engage with one another and to create awareness. But even more importantly, as the Premier described, events like this make a huge difference towards ending the stigma around mental health issues by getting us all together to talk. And even bigger than that, the, event, the attention event, an event like this drums up through social media and other forms of media creates an impression on people. Over time, we are working to change the way society thinks about mental health issues. All around the world, a growing number of individuals are coming together to champion the fight against stigma in an effort to promote mental wellness. Here at home, we can feel an increased momentum that fosters change. There are a ton of leaders in our communities making a very real difference in the area. Tonight, I would like to join the Premier in giving a shout out to Patrick Hickey, co-chair of this Mental Health Matters Conference, and who also happens to, be, to have been named one of seven 2015 National Champions of Mental Health by the Canadian Alliance on Mental Illness and Mental Health. Patrick was also selected by the Mental Health Commission of Canada to participate in this headstrong initiative, which aims to mobilize youth from across the country to fight stigma. Looking around this theater tonight, I guess it's fair to say that he's doing just that. Leadership efforts by Patrick and the staff and students here at Holy Heart have brought us here this evening. But it's important to remember that each and every one of us can play a big role in making change happen. Over the last five years, our government has made youth, youth mental health and addictions a priority. Through the regional health authorities, we provide several specialized treatment services for young people who require mental health services. Recently, we launched the Strongest Families program, which will use phone and internet programming to support children and youth and families across the province in managing mild to moderate mental health issues from home. Eastern Health recently developed a new youth mental health app called Bridge the Gap, which provides support to youth between the ages of 13 and 18. We're now partnering with all four regional health authorities and the developers to expand the app, to offer more content, and also more support across the province. We also recently established the All-Party Committee on Mental Health and Addictions for improving mental health programs and services throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. 
We have a number of treatment and counseling centers across the province. We have a mental health crisis line that offers 24-7 phone crisis intervention services to provide guidance and support to Newfoundlanders and Labradorians anytime, anywhere in our province. We wanted to make sure that as many people as possible are aware of this very valuable service. So we partnered with two extremely dedicated mental health advocates in our province, and I believe at least one of them you're going to meet this weekend, if not both, Amelia Curran and Roger Maunder. Through working with Amelia and Roger, we have developed a series of videos which feature some of the people working at the Provincial Mental Health Crisis Line and highlighting the services they provide. Our multi-year Understanding Changes Everything Awareness campaign focuses on reducing stigma and discrimination associated with mental illness and addictions. Through respect and understanding, we can change the way people think and act with respect to mental health or addictions issues. So if you haven't already, I invite you to check out understandnow.ca. There's lots of information there. You can also follow the campaign on social media. Uh, the Twitter is understandnownl, and there's a Facebook page also. I'd like to thank the event organizers of Mental Health Matters and everyone else in attendance tonight for the good work you're doing. Together, we can work to raise awareness and change the conversation about mental health to create healthier communities for all of us. As the Premier said, I think he said, he was supposed to say it, it was in his speaking notes, one in five people, one in five of us will experience a mental illness in any given year. Mental health issues are so prevalent that we cannot afford to ignore or feel ashamed of their effects any longer. This is why the work that you are doing here tonight, this is why the work that you're doing here this weekend is so important. And it's why we must continue to strive to end the stigma around mental illness. The conversation about mental health issues is really picking up in our province. We'll continue to work to enhance access to important programs and services that can make for happier, healthier lives. Together, our collective efforts have resulted in very real progress, but it's important to recognize that we still have a lot of work to do. And I believe we will do great things in the future in these areas. And tonight's event, what you're doing here this weekend, demonstrates just what happens when together we go from a whisper to a scream. So thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you're doing together this weekend. I can promise you that I'll continue to be a champion for your cause and a champion for change in this area. And if there's anything I can do to help you in your, in your efforts, please feel free to call on me directly. Thank you for the difference you're already making, and I believe big things are going to come from this weekend. Mental health really does matter. Have a great weekend, have a great conference, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.